Holy cow. Now we're two away from a million. What do you think? Starting to throw some serious coin around here. Yeah, really. absolutely. If you miss now, you'll lose 218,000. I, I, you know, I just want you to know where you... But this is one of the greatest comebacks we've ever had on the show. Yeah, I'd, I'd expect nothing you less. You were sweating out a $200 question a few minutes ago. <laughs> and now you're going for a half million bucks. Shall we do it? Uh, we better. Here it comes for 500,000. What Russian prime minister was deposed by the Bolsheviks in October 1917? Love, Kornilov. Alexander Koryansky. Leon Trotsky. Nikolai Bulgamin. Um, you know, it's funny, but I have an incredible interest in Imperial Russian history. And um, I know that Leon Trotsky was a Bolshevik. Nikolai Bulganin was, uh, I think, a Soviet uh, communist in the 50s. Kornilov I've never heard of. And um, I know that Alexander Kerensky was the prime minister of the provisional government and was deposed by the Bolsheviks in 1917. In other words, you're telling us you know the answer. I think so. So there's no problem, no sweat. What are we worried about? I think we're going to go with um, B. Alexander Kerensky, my final answer. <laughs> you got it! For a half million dollars! Yes! Wow! We're going to come back in a minute and go for one million dollars! There you go. Take a look at it, Chris. Half million dollars right there. What do you think? How does it feel? Oh, no. Feels good. <laughs> this has been the greatest comeback in the history of the Millionaire Show. I mean, the man was wiped out of lifelines at $8,000. Hercules in New York. We called the heater. The heater came through for us. But then you went to 16000 This is a guy who doesn't know about Dawson's Creek, but knows about Russian imperialism. You know what's going to happen here if you win the million dollars? Not only does your old man get a new car, your uncle gets one, too. Hey, yeah. <laughs> oh, the uncle like that. Yeah. The uncle liked that a lot. You guys excited over there? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. They, they're pulling for you. They're right hey, behind you. Car. Yeah, yeah. All right. So you're feeling pretty good now? Yeah. Boy, it's, been an, it's really been an incredible run. Terribly exciting. Everybody in the studio is pulling for you. Mm -hmm. And whether you win or lose, I'm going to miss that smiling Irish face. It's Thank nice. you so much. Nice looking at you. All right. Ready? One away from a million, and here it comes right now. Let's play. In the U.S., the Sony Walkman personal cassette player was originally marketed in 1979 under what name? Was it Soundabout? Listener? Ear Drummer? Stowaway? <sighs> 21 years ago. You know, Regis, I, I have to say, I, I couldn't even begin to guess. Just think for a minute. You know, when they first came out, everybody was talking about them. Everybody was interested in carrying one around. Let's see. How old were you, 23? Something like that. You probably <laughs> had one. I know your Uncle John had one. But it does mean six, 468,000 if you lose. Well, I can start with some logic, and the first logic would be, um, now, frankly, the first logic would be stowaway. But I have to, read this, I have to be honest. I'm just, I don't know it, and I wouldn't do this unless I was 100 percent sure. Oh, so we, we, we certainly understand yeah. that it's been a wonderful ride. Right. My gosh, you won a half million dollars. You right. came up from nowhere. And it was just a thrill to be here and watch you go on like that. Right, it was a thrill to be here as well. I take it you're going to take a walk then, huh? I guess I am, yes. And why don't you take a guess while you're here? I'll just go with stowaway, something about that. Stowaway. No, it was sound about. But okay. look, here's a half hey. million dollars. What are we talking about here? There you go. It's great having you, Phil. Good luck to you, okay? <laughs> Thank you.